Today I'm going to show you how to solve similarity problems. So to, sh to show you, I'm just going to start out by doing it. And you want to have a good, firm understanding of what it means when I say corresponding. So when, because we're going to be looking at corresponding sides in order to set up our proportions. So for the first one, my pentagon, I'm trying to find x. I'm trying to solve for x. So the first one, x would correspond with 15 and 12 would correspond to 20. Now there are different ways that I could set up these proportions in order to solve for x. I'm just going to show you one. So if you have a question, if, if you write down a different way and if you want to check it with me, you can ask me in class tomorrow. So, but I'm going to just show you one example, but realize there are different ways that you could solve it and still get the same answer. So I'm going to start with my first figure. And so x, I'm going to write my proportion as x over 12 equals, and since 15 related to the x, I'm going to put 15 on top. And 20 related to the 12, so 20 goes on the bottom. And so in order to solve this, I'm going to cross multiply. I'm going to do 20 times x, which is 20x. And then I'm going to do 15 times 12, which is equal to 180. 180 divided by 20 is equal to 9. So x is equal to 9. So that is our answer. So let's look at the next example. 18 relates to 24, and 30 relates to x. So I'm going to set up my proportion. I'm going to start with the first triangle. I'm going to write 18 over 30. Once again, I could write 30 over 18. It doesn't matter. But you just got to be consistent. So if you want to come up with a different example and ask me if that's okay, if that works out, then I'll check it. And you can even check these yourself. So you could write a different proportion and see if it works out. So since 18 related to 24, 24 is going to go on top because it related with 18. And then x related with 30, so that's going to go on bottom. So in order to solve it, I'm going to do 30 times 24, which is equal to 720. And I'm going to do 18 times x, which is 18x. And to solve that, I'm going to do 720 divided by 18. And that is equal to 40. So x is equal to 40. Now I'm going to have a word problem here. And we're going to look at that. A flagpole casts a shadow of 12 feet long. So I'm going to draw a pole with a flag. And it casts a shadow of 12 feet long. So that's going to be, I'm going to make a triangle here. So if a man six feet tall, cast a shadow three feet long, at the same time of day, how tall is the flagpole? So we're going to find that x. So this makes similar triangles. Mind you, I really did not draw these to scale, but I'm just showing you the concept here. So to solve this problem, I'm going to look at the corresponding sides. X so the height of the flagpole would relate to the height of the man. And the shadow length with the flagpole relates to the shadow length of the man. So in order to solve this, I'm going to set up a proportion. I'm going to start with my first triangle and I'm going to write x over 12. And then x related to 6 on my second triangle. And 12 related to 3 on my second triangle. So I'm going to cross multiply. So 3 times x is 3x, and then I do 12 times 6, which is equal to 72. And to solve for x, I divide by 3. So 72 divided by 3 is equal to 24, and our units would be 24 feet. So the best way to solve similarity problems is to set up proportions. You need to set proportions that with corresponding sides.
and so you need a firm understanding of what would correspond. And then once again, on all of these examples, on all three of these examples, you could have set up different proportions and still got the same answer. So if you go back through and try to solve these, but you have a different proportion, that might be okay. So it's just check to see if you still get for the first one x equals 9 and for the second one x equals 40 and then for the third one x equals 24 because you want to make sure that you're setting up these proportions correctly.